Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video going over the changes to my um, temper and iridescent filter for a substance painter. So now this filter is a collection of presets. So there is only one filter and this contains the original iridescent and tempering effects as well as a new steel heating and case hardening effect. So this drop down allows you to quickly change between these presets. The download is going to include the filter itself, as well as this smart material. And for 90% of times, you're going to just want to use this smart material, as this setup is just a really convenient way to drag and drop it into your document and make whatever changes you need to fit your model. So I'm just going to run through a bit of these um, smart material options now. So we still have the original mask setup, and in this smart material, we're using an anchor point. So we can easily alt click on this mask here to view exactly what is going on. So if I swap this out for the linear gradient here, and you can see if I change to my steel heating, that might be useful if you're doing something like a sword. You can have you know, the gradient going along the length of your blade, whereas if you're working on, say, a revolver, and you want your case hardening, more of a classic grunge is going to be close to what you want. And for your model, you're probably going to want to come in and customize this mask either with your own paint layers or combining something like your thickness map for like the tempering of a sword, you know, the thinner parts might get hotter. So you can combine the thickness map with some grunges. And we still have all the options exposed on the filter to come in and adjust this mask. So make sure you play around with those. There, the presets will have some very basic tweaks to get them roughly to be what you want, but feel free to play around with it. This filter makes it really convenient to do so. But also important to note, there's nothing that this filter really does that you couldn't do yourself with the gradients in Painter. These presets are just a really quick way to have these real world effects um, already set up for you essentially. So yeah, links are in the description. It's free. Um, let me know if in the future it breaks in any version of Substance Painter or the download links expire or if you have any other comments and I'll try and get back to you. Alright, thanks for watching.